All right, welcome to our third video. Uh, so first we talked about flooding our bodies with all kinds of great nutrients. And then second, we talked about reinforcing our defenses, kind of boosting that immune system. And in this video, I wanna talk about rest, um, resting your body. So you're thinking, um, hello, have you seen my to-do list? Uh, I can't have time to rest, you're just crazy. I will rest, you know, like 15 years from now when I'm not so busy. Um, but what I want to say is rest is something that you deserve. Uh, it's something that your body needs and it's something that is, um, pivotal to good health. Uh, sl healthy sleep patterns promote, um, positive thoughts. They promote, uh, less weight gain. They promote less stress and just the list goes on and on and on for the health benefits of your body when you're getting enough rest. So, um, I would just say that you you deserve it and you deserve to discipline yourself to get enough rest. Uh, this is something that over the last year or so I've tried to, to do a better job of. Just uh, So a couple of things that I do, for example, I... I go to bed earlier, so I would, you know, normally stay up till like 10, 45, 11, and then, you know, in the morning when like, you know, 5, 45 or 6 came around and my kids were awake, I was like, oh, darn it, like, I'm really tired. So now, you know, if it's between like 9 and 10, I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed. That's great. I will go to bed, and then when it, you know, it's 5, 15 and I'm ready to get up, then it's time to get up. Uh, another thing that you could do is uh, shut down the screens, uh, like the TV or social media stuff for, you know, like 30 minutes before you go to bed, just to give your body time to kind of, kind of unwind before you cr actually crawl into bed. Um, so there's a couple of different oil things that I do for sleep that uh, in our family that we do. Uh, we use lavender for relaxation and sleeping quite a bit. So I diffuse lavender in our rooms every night. I do, I do my thieves and my lavender together. And then I also um, use lavender. Steve uses lavender. Uh, he puts it on, he puts it on everywhere. His chest and his forehead and the back of his neck and on his feet. Uh, I put this on the kids' feet if they're just super crazy at bedtime and it's just time to go to bed. Uh, and it just kind of relaxes you and calms you down. I put it in a in mix with some Epsom salts and put it in a bath and that will kind of calm you down. Um, but okay, so I do lavender and thieves in my diffuser at night. And then I also add cedarwood. Now cedarwood is an oil that um, I've kind of recently learned more about. It's pretty amazing what all the amazing things you can do. So maybe Google uh, cedarwood and essential oil and uses for cedarwood. But Cedarwood um, helps your body produce melatonin. So you are able to stay asleep uh, and get a restful night's sleep. Uh, it's also really great for a lot of other things. So uh, that's kind of my nighttime diffuser blend. Um, there's also uh, one other thing that I wanna talk about as far as rest. Uh, this is something that we started doing as a family. Um, probably we should have done it sooner, but uh, we have one day every week uh, that we rest that we uh, don't, you know, do social media. Um, we don't, you know, drive ourselves crazy trying to figure out what to eat. We don't pick up the house. We don't, you know, fold laundry or do any of those kind of chores. We just rest. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, that sounds crazy. If I took off a whole day and didn't do anything, like things would just fall apart. And like, I'd get so behind, I'd never catch up. But I want to challenge you to maybe try it because what happens is, you take that day of rest and you rejuvenate your body and get ready for the week. And then the other six days of the week, you are more productive. You are better rested. You're mentally more aware because you took the time to rest. So I just, um, I feel like in our culture, we just do not value rest at all. Uh, everybody's tired, but nobody rests. Uh, so I would challenge you to think about taking that day of rest or just try it for a month, you know? Try it for uh, a month and see if you notice any changes in your family, uh, in your heart. Um, and yeah, go from there. So there you go.